All right, hello, my name is Bennett. This is the Design as Protest project that Anatoly and I made. Start off, I'm gonna preface with a little bit of some of our goals and sort of the main idea of what we were trying to accomplish. So our goal was to create a project that would engage all social media users in a simulated art exhibit, which would allow them to experience how overwhelming and confining social media can be to the user. And to do this, we plan to control the use of color, light, and composition towards communicating the negative effects of social media. So let me go ahead and just play the video for you. Founder showing this image of her event page COVID removed 19, from popular planning site Eventbrite. Joining us now to react to Texas Congressman All right, so a little bit of an explanation of what we just saw. When you first walk into the room, you're unsure of what's going on since the room seems both empty and dark. In this way, you are both figuratively and literally left in the dark, as you would be if you had no social media. The walls of the room are slightly warped mirrors, which help to both extend the space as well as giving it a warped reflection of reality. After a while, a single panel is lit the color blue, which is commonly associated with security and reliability. This is paired with the audio from a news report, and it's not long after, however, that all the other phones start turning on with clashing colors and sounds. And eventually, all the phones are lit and competing for the viewer's attention, both visually and auditorially. This moment shows how our desire to know everything can quickly overwhelm us when information is accessible as quickly as it is nowadays. And at the end, all the phones are turned red, which is commonly associated with danger. This shows that social media can quickly become overwhelming and dangerous when exposure is not limited. And then finally, just a little bit into the process of making this, we knew we wanted to do something with social media and we both had a lot of ideas of what we could do. So to start off, we actually just split and we each came up with a couple of ideas and made some mock-ups. Uh, they were pretty different from each other. My first idea was to do sort of a large art mural on a wall that would show sort of tunnel vision, only focusing on good or on bad. Anatoly was working on this project, which was a art piece that would show how we can feel sort of trapped by social media, picturing somebody surrounded in a room where all the walls are made of phones. And we went from that and sort of combined both of the ideas. And uh, that's where we got to our first mock-up of what our final product might start to look like. And this consisted of a room filled with phones all hanging on wires so that you'd actually be able to walk into the space and be surrounded. And uh, we sort of took this idea and ran with it and that's how we got to our final product. And the final product was done in Blender, mostly just because Anatoly knows all the ins and outs of Blender and he pretty much did everything. And uh, we used Blender to do the final product, did a short little render and that's how we ended up what we have. Thank you.